when you keep the commandments that he kept? If you love Jesus? All right, but I bet y'all going to be celebrating Christmas next month. Right, I see. bet y'all going to be celebrating Thanksgiving in a few weeks. That's right. I bet y'all celebrate y'all birthday. Right. You don't find none of that in the Bible. It's not there. It don't exist. All right? So what we're bringing out is the truth about who we are and what God wants us to do. Right. That's what we're bringing out. All right? Give me uh, uh, Amos chapter 5, verse 20. I think that's what I want. They hate him that broke him in the gate. Yeah, yeah, I know. 5 and 10. Amos 5 and 10. Give me that one. All right? We're reading about you in this Bible. All right? We're reading about you in the Bible. All right? Read you got. Amos chapter 5 and verse 10. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate. What's the Bible say? They hate him. Listen good to what the Bible said. There will be a people on the earth during these last days, all right, when the prophets will be out teaching God's laws, bringing our people back to God's commandments, that would do what? They hate him. They would hate us. Come on. That rebuke him. That corrects our people. Come on. In the gate. In the city. There's people that hate us for correcting each other. That's in the right. city. The Bible said that would exist. We're living Bible prophecy. Right. You understand? We're living Bible prophecy. All right? The thing is, if you don't repent, all right, I, I ain't got power to put nobody to death. Right. All right? But when the Lord comes back, he gonna set hell fire to this whole place. Right. We're trying to, uh, 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 to, to give you what you need to avoid the judgment. That's what we're trying to do. Give me Titus chapter two. Titus chapter two, verse 12, teaching us. Start at verse 11. Verse 11, for the grace of God that bring of salvation hath appeared to all men. Right, so right now we living in what's called a grace period. All right, so yeah, we got, you got liberty right now, all right? To get mad and to, and to be disrespectful. All right, right now you can be disrespectful. You may not be judged immediately. All right, right now, yeah, you can lie. You can steal, you can kill. You may not be judged immediately because we're living in a grace period. All right, this is like practice. We're not supposed to be uh, uh, comfortable breaking God's laws. You're supposed to break a law by accident. You understand? Repent quickly if you mess up. That should be your mindset if you're living in a grace period. All right, but our people... We live in lawless out here. We hate God and we hate his laws. Right. Come on. For the grace of God, the brink of salvation has appeared to all men. That's the black Messiah. He's appeared to all men. Teaching what? Teaching all the Israelites to deny their flesh. Teaching all the Israelites to subject themselves to the rulers that be. To the great men that came before them. Our forefathers. To learn about them. Right. And to walk in their paths. That's what the scriptures say. My young sisters over here, we out here teaching the Bible. All right? We're looking for all the young women and men that love God. That's right. Come on. Teaching us that denying ungodliness. That deny what? Ungodliness. Denying ungodliness. You know it's an ungodly thing for women to wear pants? It it's an ungodly thing. Women shouldn't have pants on. All right? Same way it's an ungodly thing for a man to have a dress on. All right, scriptures say you can't do that. These are things we got to learn now in this grace period and repent from them. All right, come on. And the worldly lust. Right, a worldly lust would be, all right, I can go into the store and I can buy some on the Sabbath day. That's a worldly lust. You learned that here. In your homeland, you wouldn't be able to do that. You would be restricted from doing that. It wouldn't be allowed, you understand? You get put to death for doing that. You understand? My sisters, we trying to teach you the truth about the Bible. All right? Uh, go to the website. Go to the website. All right. Read on. We should live soberly. We should live how? Soberly. We should live soberly. Can't be out here getting drunk. All right. Can't be out here hot girl summer. Right. That's Brothers right. can't be high all the time. Right. All right. Brothers can't be uh, on on the on the Molly Perkins right. All right. Brothers can't be doing drugs to escape this hell that we call reality. Right. All right. We know it's the, it's, it's it's hell here. All right, we understand we serve our enemies for everything. All right, but there's no excuse for us to break God's laws as a as a as a drug or a medicine to cope with that feeling. That's not excusable. God says He'll judge you for that. Come on, righteously and godly in this present world. In what world? In this present world. But I thought that that was this Bible is 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 that's the old stuff. We're not supposed to be doing that right now. In this present 
world. The scripture says we're supposed to be keeping the commandments right now. Right. You understand? Christ ain't came back yet. The end has not come. We haven't been delivered from this place. Right? That means what? We're still practicing and rehearsing God's laws. Today, give me Judges chapter 6. Verse 11. I think that's what I want. Acts. Yeah, rehearsing the righteous acts. Supposed to be rehearsing the righteous acts of the Lord, not the evil acts. The righteous acts. That's what we're supposed to be rehearsing today. You know what that looks like? Loving your brother, loving your sister, taking care of your wife, taking care of your children. That's how that looks. Come on. The book of Judges, chapter 5, verse 11. Come on. They that are delivered from the noise of archers. They that are delivered from where? The noise of archers. So they that are delivered from the noise of archers. All right. You know what that is? That's the destruction that's coming to America. That's right. The noise of archers is the destruction that's coming to America. Right. We want all of our brothers and all of our sisters to, to, be, to be delivered from that. Right. We don't want nobody to get caught up in the destruction that's coming to this place. Right. All right? The noise of archers. Hey, my brother, we want you to be delivered from the destruction that's coming to this place. But the only way to do that is to keep God's commandments. That's the only way right. that you're going to be delivered from the noise of archers here. Right. The only way. Read on. Verse 11. They that are delivered from the noise of archers and the places of drawing water. And the places of what? Drawing water. We in captivity even to this day. That's why you got to pay taxes to the so-called white man. That's why you got to go to work tomorrow. That's why you went to work today. You understand? That's why you, your happy wife, happy life. That's why you live that way. Because we still in captivity even to this day. You understand? The only way for us to get up out of this captivity is to come back to loving our wife the way God said love your wife. Love your daughter the way God said love your daughter. Love your son the way God said love your son. Love your brother the way God said love your brother. That's the only way we're going to be delivered out of this place when Christ comes back. All right? If we despise that, then it's death, hell, and destruction for you. Read on. Here we go. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. There shall they do what? Rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. So there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. All right? Rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. That's what we're doing now. We're trying to get our spirits right. We're trying to get our people right. We're trying to get used to not buying on a Sabbath day. Because guess what? If you make that mistake in the wilderness, bro, it ain't gonna be no grace. If you make that mistake, when we're delivered from here, you can't just say, I'm sorry, I repent, God, forgive me. Hey, my brother right here, what's your name, what's your name? We are talking about the Bible right now, you believe in the Bible? Very good, very good. You believe in God, that's good, what's your name? Say it again? Jeffrey Tan. Jeffrey Tan? All right, do you know your nationality? That's what we really come out here to do. Teach our people who we are according to the Bible. Because guess what? Chinese people have books they can go and look at find out who they are. Japanese people have books they can go to, find out who they are. What can a black man go to to find out who he is? Where can he go? Where does he go? Where do you go to read about your history before slavery? Where do you go? Say it again? You don't know. You go here to this Bible. That's where you go to learn about your history. Do you know what I mean? Chapter 28 verse 32, you tell me this happened to your people. God said this will happen to his people, to his people. This ain't happen to everybody. Happen to God's people. We out here just for you, bro. We going through all this and what you see, just for you. Just for you. Just for you, so you can know who you are. You understand? Come close, come close. I'm gonna show you something. Look at this sign right here. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Look at this. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. God said that his people his sons and his daughters will be given to another people. You understand? What happened during slavery? We were whipped? Were we taken from our parents? Who were we given to? Read another up. people. We was given to another people. We're reading in the Bible. This is your history. Read on. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them. This is talking about our parents. When we were taken away from our parents, when these sons were taken away from their parents, could their parents do anything about it? You think they were sad? You think they cried? You think they sorrowed? Yes, they did. Come on. And there shall be no might in thine hand. Now let me ask you this. Did the black man have any might in his hand to keep his children from going into slavery? The black man, did he have any might to do that? I believe so. No, he didn't. No might at all. 
The Bible is talking about you and your people. That's right. That's what it's talking to. You understand? Give me verse 48. All right, listen to this. Because not only were we taken from our parents, but we were caused to serve who? For everything that we needed. Who did we have to serve for that? Yes. Did you know that was in the Bible? We're going to show that to you. Come on. Verse 48. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. Guess what? If you get thirsty and you want to get something to drink, where do you go get it? The store. Where do you go to 7-Eleven? Your people own 7-Eleven? Who owns 7-Eleven? The so-called white man owns 7-Eleven. You understand? The Walmart. Who owns Walmart? The so-called white man owns Walmart. What about Target? Who owns that? The so-called white man owns Target. What about uh, Best Buy? So-called white man owns Best Buy. What about BJ's and Sam's Club? Who owns that? What about the black woman? What does she own? What does the black woman own in America? What she own? She don't own much at all. You know why? Because she cannot separate herself from her own race. Right. And her own race is still oppressed in this country. Right. You understand? Listen to what the Bible said, what happened about your people. Come on. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Are we still serving our enemies today, my sister? Yes, we are. Come on. Which the Lord. Wait, who sent the enemy to us? Wake him up. The Lord. Did you hear what the Bible just said? So who sent the white man to our people to put us in slavery? Who did that? Who sent the white man to put our people in slavery? Who? The Lord did that. Right. You understand? That's a righteous thing. You understand? The white man is just like the belt is to your mama. The so-called white man is just like the belt that your mother used when you're misbehaving yourself. Right. What does she do with that belt? She whoops you. That's what she does. Guess what? We got our ass whooped in slavery. Right. Did we not? Yes, we did. Who did the whooping? The so-called white man did the whooping. That's what you see here on this photo right here. You understand? This is Bible prophecy to happen to who? To happen to who? The black man. Very good. Read on. Serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So guess what? We had to serve our enemies, and we still do even to this day. Since slavery. Right. For what? And hunger. So we have to serve our enemies for all the food we want to eat. We got to go to our enemies for that. Come on. And in thirst. And in thirst, right? If you get thirsty, you got to go to your enemies for Dasani, for Fiji, Aquafema, right? What about the water that comes to your house through the tap? Who we serve for the water that comes? Your tap water. Who we serve for that? The so-called white man. What if the so-called white man said, we're going to turn that water off today? And we ain't gonna never turn it back on. What's gonna happen to all these Negroes Bring that living in Poria? Huh? Out. What's gonna happen to all these Negroes living in Poria? We gonna die! That's what's gonna happen. You know why? Because we still serve our enemies for everything that we need. Right. Come on. And in nakedness. And in what? And in nakedness. Even for the clothes that we wear on our back, my sister. Where you gotta get that mink from? You gotta go, who on Walmart, my sister? The so-called white man. Right. You understand? That ain't my beautiful black sister that owned it. Right. You understand? You got your own, we ain't got our own Walmarts. Mm -hmm. We gotta go to our enemies for everything that we need. Even if you want a job, who application you gotta fill out? Bring it up. Say it again. Your brother can be an enemy. Very good, he can be. But guess what? That's the enemy we gotta learn to love. Right. The mother yeah. enemies, we ain't gotta learn to love them. Right. We gotta learn to tell the truth about them. Right. We gotta learn to not worship them. That's you right. understand? We gotta learn to not rely on them for our salvation. That's right. Because we still think the so-called white man gonna crack the sky and save all these Negroes in the port. That's not gonna happen. Right. It's not gonna happen like that. Ain't no white man ever died for nobody black. Bring it out. In history, period. It's not accurate. It don't, it, it, it's not historically accurate for a white man to come die for a nation of black people. Bring it out. Ain't no white man ever died for no black man. Right. But we think it's a white Jesus coming through the sky to save us? Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. That's a white man lie. You understand that? That's not true. And don't, you see how we call the police? Because we teach you the truth, people call the police on us. And we think the same man all right, that comes, put our, our, our knee on our neck, and we in the street, it's gonna come through the sky and save all these niggas? Yes, the man. same ones Jeez. that put us on auction blocks? Right. The same yeah. ones that sold us? The same ones that took our daughters and raped them? Right. Right. They're supposed to save us out of the sky? That's know. who we relying on for our salvation? No, Christ was a black man. Yes. You understand? 
he's only coming back to save his people. Bring us, bring you understand? From their sins. That's, right. that's what the Bible says. This is what you need to know. All these people in Poirier need to know. That's right. And you understand? That's why we come here to teach the Bible to our people. You understand? Read on. Hand in nakedness. And in what? Hand in nakedness. Because we still depend upon our enemies for that nice jacket. Just like the one you got on. Read on. And in want of all feet. And in want of what? All feet. That means for anything that you need, we still got to depend on our enemies for that. Teach. All right, this is the Bible we read. The same Bible we say, oh, that's the white man's book. To hell with that book. This is the blackest book you ever read, sister. That's right. The right. blackest book. Yes, you got a question. Ask your question. So, this is mainly like this white man right here. Right? No, we teaching our people who they are because we don't know. We walk around saying we black. We the Israelites. That's, That's, right. Right. That's who we are. Right. We are the Israelites. That's who we are. Give me Revelation chapter 3 verse 9, all right? I'm going to show you something in the Bible. I'm going to show you why we out here. Because a lot of people are lying on us right now. All right? Right, you're right. They are. But our people, we don't, we don't recognize the other nations as an enemy, though, at all. We know we enemies. I'm going to show you why. Because when the white man kills us, what do we do? When the white man kills us in the street, riot. we riot, we march. When the black man kills us, what do we do? Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. You understand? That's my point. What? So we got to recognize who our enemy is. Right? So we got to recognize that we're not enemies. Right. Right. We, know that we act like enemies from time to time. You understand? But we're not enemies. Right. Our enemies are all the other nations around us. That's who our enemies are. We should. We should stay together like we should. No, we we deal with. I'm gonna tell you something, sister. Before you leave, we was out here and we was teaching a young sister how not to how not to have a girl a boyfriend, how not to have sex before she gets married. No, we're. T I'm, I just told you what we was doing. I didn't say we was out here passing judgment. Right. Right. Yeah. So according to the Bible. All right, when you have sex with a man that's not your husband and he don't marry you, that man just disrespected you. That's right. right. That's what the Bible says. Okay. Do you disagree with that? No, I don't know. All right, do, do, do you understand that? All right. Many, we huh? repented from that. We don't do that no more. You know what I do now? Hold on, I'm gonna answer your question. You know what I do now? I'm married. I take care of my wife and my children. Right. That's what we want all of these Negroes to do out here in Emporia. Right. That's what we want. Right. right. But my point that I'm making to you is we was dealing with our people just like you want us to. And you know what they did? They called the police right. because we judging them. You know we need, you know we go to the white man courthouse. You know what he do down there at that courthouse all day long with his gavel? He judge us right. all day long. And don't no black man got a damn thing to say about it. Right. Don't nobody got a thing. But when we start judging each other, it's a problem. It's a problem. Right. You understand? So the reason we got to show each other who our enemy is, is because we still deal with each other like we the damn enemy. Right. I didn't bring you over here on slave ships. I didn't do that. That's right. He did that. That's your enemy. Right. You understand? We not enemies. That's the only way we can get through our people's head. All right? Now listen good to what this Bible says. Hold on, hold on. How we get people ahead is making them understand that the white people are What's up, girl? I'm trying to tell you to tell them something. Oh, uh, look. So. What's your question? We'll answer it for you. Give me Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. Watch this. This is how we got to get through to our people. All right? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to see if you have the right answer. What's your, nas what's your nationality? What's my nationality? I'm Trinidadian Indian and black. All right, those are all by words. That's right. All right, so hold on, hold on. Listen, listen. I asked I, I ask you a, a simple question. I asked you a simple question. Those are all, you know, a by word is a name that, that some, and that's what you just told me you are. What I'm here to do is tell you that you're greater than that. That's right. I'm here to tell you that you're more beautiful than that. That's you understand? Right. I'm here to tell you that your people are far beyond those names that you say. That's right. Right, but we still hold on. We still hold on, so I gave you a chance. I asked you. I gave you a chance. You told me you gave me all you had. You said I'm Trinidadian, I'm, a, I'm black, I'm a, 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 a Indian. What'd you say? You said all of these things. 
You gave it all to me. I'm telling you, that's all garbage. That's you understand? That's God. What you just said is God. God don't call you that. God said you're greater than that. You understand? So the first thing we have to do to answer your question is this. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3. Don't go nowhere, sister. Stay right there. Oh, don't go. Don't go nowhere. Stay right there. Stay right there. Come on, read what you got. The ox know of his owner. Listen good to what the Bible just said. The Bible said the ox know his owner. You know what that means? The ox knows who he belongs to. You understand? He not going to call himself black. The ox not going to call himself a, a Negro. The ox not going to call himself Indian. You understand? He know who his true owner is. Right? Right. Yes, because that's what we identify as out here. That's, listen, listen. That's what we identify as out here. Right? If I if I was to call everybody who if I was to say, sister, you come from the tribe of Issachar. Who is Issachar? Crickets, crickets, crickets. You understand? So the reason I call everybody Negro, because that's what we identify as. So once I can get your attention, now I can teach you who you really are. You already told me what you think you are. Now I'm trying to teach you who you really are. So let's read this verse. Don't interrupt me this time. Let me read the verse. Verse three, come on. The ox know of his owner. And the ass his master's crib. What? But Israel. But who? Israel. The Israelites. That's who we are according to the Bible. So when I ask you that question, you understand? That's what you should have told me. You should have said, I'm an Israelite. I come from the tribe of Benjamin. I'm an Israelite. I come from the tribe of Levi. I'm an Israelite. I come from the tribe of Gad. I'm an Israelite. I come from the tribe of Issachar. That's what should have came out, come out of your mouth. But you know why those words came out of your mouth? Because you still trust in what your enemies taught you. You still trust in what all your enemies taught you about yourself. That's why you perpetuated what they told you. That's why you perpetuated what they told you. Before you got to where you at now, you yes. had to learn. Yes, I had to learn. So, I had to learn. That's something like you asked me a question. Mm -hmm. I haven't studied like you studied. Right. You didn't get to where you was at by just getting to where you was at. Yes. You had to learn, you had to study. Yes. So you cannot pass judgment because people are not ignorant, but they don't have the knowledge like you have them. But you have the time. When you say pass judgment, what do you mean by that? that? Means you're trying to preach to them about certain things and let them know who they are. That's not they, judgment. I mean, I know. I'm saying you tell them about have a boyfriend and stuff like that. You're teaching them about them. Yes. Okay. That That's we, good. We should know, do that. No, no, yes. Okay, That's very good. We're on the same page yeah. with that. All right. If, if, so why call them okay. the enemy if you're still judging all of us the same thing? You say all you Negroes are the enemy. Why call who the enemy? You are, you saying that the enemy is like yeah. but you're calling us the same name. Right? The right. Right. If I was to because say you, all you... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, we ahead. don't know any better because we haven't had the knowledge to learn that we are Israelites. So instead we're Negroes to you, just like the 20. enemy is, right? The enemy calls us Negroes, you're calling us Negroes because we don't know nothing yet. Just like we didn't know nothing back yes, then in yes, slavery yes. days that we were a number <laughs> and we could have overpowered them. I am making my point. My point is if you want to teach somebody about the enemy, you how to recognize the enemy, you cannot call them the same thing the enemy called them because they're going to look at you as the enemy as well. If I was to, if I, so remember, sister, the point that I made, if I was to be out here and say all you Issacharites, all you Benjamites, all you Levites, if I, listen, listen, if I was to do that, no one would know what I'm saying. They wouldn't know who I'm talking to. I understand. I would have to follow that up with, you understand? All you Negroes or black people, this is who you really are. You understand? You are the Benjamites. You are these people. The Negroes is what the enemy called us. You can say you African Americans or you black people, and they will feel more comfortable because you call the same thing. Who called us African American and American? Who? 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 Yes, yes, sister. So what you're saying don't make sense. That's right. We we dealing with with listen, sister. The white man created both. The white man created both. Come on, sister. That's a that's a societal term. You understand? You're talking about which one? How I feel? Which one sounds? The white man created both. The white man created African American. That's right. The white man created Negro. That's right. The white man created nigger. That's right. Created all of that. You understand? The white man called us that those things. Right. You understand? Those are by words. Right. God calls us the Israelites. That's right. We're calling all these Negroes, all these black people, all these Hispanics, all these Native Americans. That's not who you really are. Y'all are the Israelites. That's right. That's what we had to teach. And I'm saying, in order for them to feel like you're invited to learn to your teaching, right. Negroes is not gonna help. I'm just saying. It may not help you, but it'll help our people. Right. You understand? It may not help you, but it'll help our people. Right. You understand? 
listen. Have you have you been I to heard, our website before? No, I haven't been. Have you seen what we're doing? No, listen, I heard we're y'all almost went every to the state laundromat. worldwide. I you understand? Heard, listen, I heard y'all when I went to the laundromat and I went our back to Good, good, good. And I wanted to know this. But I'm seeing all the I see the police here. That's why all y'all should be able to talk and say this is where I'm all for it. But guess who called the police though? Your sister, right. your brother, the ones you call your people, the ones that call themselves the Negro, the, the ones that call themselves Black, right. the ones that call themselves African American, right. they the ones that call the police on us. You understand? That's who your people did that. I was dealing with them the same way I'm dealing with you. Right, and that's the point I'm trying to make for you. That's the point I'm trying to make for you. You may not want to hear, nigga, uh, a Black Negro. You may not want to hear that. But that don't mean everybody else. You understand? So we all got our own preferences. Alright, all right, so guess what? We gotta obey what God says right. at the end of the day. Well, and that's what we out here doing. God teaching God's go Bible. Alright, hold on. Before you leave, I gotta get a law for you. I gotta get a law. I'm real quick. I gotta get a law for you before you leave. I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna read. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. I'm gonna read one scripture for you. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. We're gonna read that one scripture. Read what you got. Right. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5 this is the, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man That means the woman can't wear pants That's a, that You're breaking God's law when you wear pants You can't do that You understand? Neither can you wear underwear out of the house Underwear is supposed to be under your clothes Alright, so these are things that we have to correct in our community Because it's leading, it's leading to single parent homes right. It's leading to abortions That's what it's leading to Right? So our, our, our sisters got to do a better job clothing themselves. Alright? All right? Guess what? The sister has to take accountability for who she is and for what she's producing on this earth. The sister has to do that. Alright? You are in full control of that as a woman. You understand? You can change that. That's your part that you play in this. Cover yourself up. Dress modestly. Get you a nice mink dress to match that coat. Right. That way your curves ain't out there like that. Right. <laughs> All right. That way your curves are not. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, it does matter. At the end of the day, it does matter. Whoredom is still the same as it was. Single parent, the black woman is still killing her baby just as much as she was 50 years ago, 40 years ago, 30 years ago. All right. Who dressed most provocative? Who dresses most provocative on the earth? The black woman does. Who kills her baby more than the black woman? Nobody. She killed her baby more than everybody. You tell me there's no connection to that? Yes, it is. It is a connection to that. You understand? You in control of that, sister. You got to change that. All right, where we at? You're on 22 verse 5. All right, read that. The woman shall not with that which pertaineth unto a man. Come on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man do what? Put on a woman's garment. My brother, would you ever put a woman's garment on? Would you ever walk around with a dress with a skirt on? <clears throat> would you ever do that? My brother, right here, would you ever put on a woman's garment to wear? Hell no, right? <laughs> well, 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 <laughs> well, look, it's a lot of women out here that put on pants. Right. Why don't we feel the same way about that as we do a man with the woman's garment on. I bet your mom wear pants. Have you ever told her that ain't right? You told her that ain't right? All right, what about your girlfriend? She wear pants? Your girlfriend don't wear pants either? All she wears dresses? Come on over here, bro. I wanna know with you, man. I gotta meet you. I gotta shake your hand, man. I gotta find out who you are, man. You might be a Joshua in the spirit. I don't know. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. is you.